guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Crystal from the Flying Seahorse, and I wanted to pop in while I had a moment, and it was finally quiet in my house, um, <laughs> is which is a rare moment. Um, one of my daughters is asleep, and my husband and my other daughter are going to my husband's night job, and my son is staying the night with his papa, so I've got a moment of quietness in my house. So, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and quickly go through this video. Um, I've found a storage solution that works for me, you guys, and I am super, super excited to share it with you. Um, some of you may already be using the storage system, but I am the type of person that is out of sight, out of mind. If I do not see it, I will not be able to find it. And with me being in such a small space, I really needed to find something that I could put a lot of stuff in that was super organized and that I would be able to find it and go to it right when I needed it. And the good thing is about these right here is I can stack them. So, not only can I store a lot in it, but I can store a lot on it. So, that works. And I can slide it right under my desk and it would be perfect. So, I'm actually also in the process of making labels for each individual one on the inside and the top. So, um, I'm going to make some vinyl labels for this with my Cricut machine. And um, so, if you don't already know, this is a 4x6 photo box. So, it's one large box, and inside it has, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 individual containers on the inside, like this, and they're size 4 by 6 they're usually for 4 by 6 photos, so, but what I'm using them for is for embellishments, um, such as um, ephemera, uh, die cuts, things like that, um, small beads, buttons, um, oh shoot, jewelry, broken jewelry pieces, um, little rhinestones, um, sequins, and stuff like that, um, random wooden pegs, as well as my smaller, um, pieces of chipboard or my one-off pieces of chipboard like one one piece of chipboard that's left out of an entire pack um so this is really working for me and i'm really loving it because i can be super organized on the inside and hold a lot at the same time and i have gone through most of my embellishments so far and i still have three containers left you guys so this is actually holding a lot more than I thought, and I, I mean, I do have still some smaller embellishments, um, but for the most part, this is pretty much everything I have, um, already in here, so this is working really great, um, I do plan on getting a few more of these, um, but I could only afford one, um, for right now, so, um, I'm hoping over the next couple of months, I'll be able to acquire one to two more, um, just to have on hand so that if I do acquire more embellishments, I'll have the space for them. Um, so this is my idea of how to store your embellishments, um, especially if you've got a small space like I do. I know a lot of you have told me before that you have extremely small spaces. And you need the most efficient way to store your items. Because uh, a lot of you have even smaller spaces than I do. Because um, you're using a corner in your living room or something like that. And you can easily store one of these sitting up like this right here. And put, you know, a couple behind it and sit it in the corner just like that easy as that and you don't have to worry about anything tipping over or falling out it's got this great lock that just snaps 
and I mean, it, this stuff's not going anywhere. I have moved this thing all over the room, and it's not going anywhere. So, but that is my uh, tip for you guys on uh, organizing your embellishments. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Tap that bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. I've got the giveaway coming. Um, I'm going to be giving away um, five custom Harry Potter notebooks. And they will be um, vinyl covers with um, Lindy's in the background. So I'm going to be hand making these, but they're not going to be like mixed media. They're going to be like watercolor backgrounds with um, vinyl over it. And I'm going to have a array of different designs. I'm going to give away five of them. So that's going to be five people that are going to win one of these. And it's going to be Harry Potter themed. And um, you'll get to see the project that I've been talking about since December. So make sure you watch out for that. Make sure you watch out for my quarterly update. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.